Mr. Smith. My name's Nadine. I'm going to be your nurse today. I haven't seen you around here before. Are you new? Hi, Nadine. Nice to meet you. I've started a dialysis about a month ago. Oh, well, welcome. Did you have any issues getting yourself checked in or weighed today? No, I haven't. Oh, good. And can I just confirm your name and date of birth? John Smith, September 21st, 1979. Great. If you want to grab your stuff, we'll head into the pod and we can talk some more. So how have you been since your last run? Were there any issues? I've been okay. I've been having some shortness of breath and my legs feel tight. My last run, they were only able to take 2.5 liters of fluid before I became symptomatic. Well, thank you for letting me know. I'm just going to take these from you and we're going to get your standing blood pressure if that's okay. Um, I'm going to put the blood pressure cuff on your arm that doesn't have your fistula. I just want to make sure your fistula is on your right arm. It is. Okay. So just get you to slide your arm in there. Okay. Okay, looks like your blood pressure is 187 over 98 and your heart rate's 105. I'm just going to ask you to have a seat so I can do your sitting blood pressure as well as listen to your chest and have a look at your legs. So I'm just going to get you to breathe in and out while I listen. Okay, and I do hear some crackles. I'm just gonna listen to your heart, okay? Okay. <clears throat> All right, I'm just gonna have a look at your feet. I'm gonna stick them out. Okay, it does look like you have three pus being edema in both of your lower legs. Um, do you happen to have any open areas or bruises? No, I do not. Have you had any recent surgeries? No, I have not. Have you noticed any blood in your stool or urine? No, I haven't noticed any. Have you had any changes to your medications? I'm just going to make some notes as we go here. Yes, I had some changes to my medication, my blood pressure medication, but I can't remember which one. Okay, um, would you be able to just confirm what pharmacy you use? Cook's Pharmacy in Wellesley. Okay. Um, I'm just going to recheck your blood pressure again while I make some notes. Okay, your blood pressure is about the same while you're sitting. Just check your temperature. Good. And you're breathing a little bit quick. Are you feeling short of breath right now? Nope. Okay. Um, I'm just going to do my calculation to figure out how much fluid we should be taking off. So your weight today was 84 kilograms. And your estimated dry weight is 80 kilograms. Um, so that puts us at four kilograms already without before i add the amount i need to prime um my machine 
as well as the amount of fluid that you have in your cups there. Um, has anyone talked to you about um, restricting your fluid intake, your daily fluid intake? Yes, they have, but I'm always thirsty. So it's not uncommon for hemodialysis patients to feel thirsty. Um, but the, the two cups that we have here is about as much fluid as we'd like you to take in, um, in a whole day. Um, because most people are on a one to one and a half liter fluid restriction because your kidneys aren't working the way that they used to and that they can't remove the extra fluid. Oh, really? Yes. Um, and while you're here, would you mind if we just tried having just one glass that's mostly full of ice with a little bit of water? Um, I've heard from other dialysis patients having um, something that's cold and frozen helps with the dry feeling. So you can have ice chips at home. You can also have sugar-free popsicles or freezies. Um, something else that they say helps is the hard sugar-free candies. Have you happened to talk to our dietitian while you were here? Yes, that'd be okay. And I'll get my wife to look into those things to see if they'll help so that I can try not to drink so much at home. I think so, but I don't remember everything they said. Well, if you'd like, I can see if they're able to come down and meet with you today while you're here. Okay. Okay, so based on my calculation, with the amount um, from your weigh-in to your dry weight, plus the amount that I'm using to prime, plus if we go with this cup, um, our target volume that we would like to remove is about 4.9 liters. Unfortunately, I don't think that's going to be possible, um, just because... You said the last time they were only able to remove 2.5 liters of fluid um, before you became symptomatic. Um, one thing I note in the previous notes as well is that your uh, urea removal rates are about 55 to 60%, and we like to see those at about 65% um, in people that come three times a week. But I'm gonna reach out to the nephrologist and I'll fill them in on all of my findings. Um, they may suggest that you come in for an extra run one day this week or potentially that they lengthen your run. Um, do you happen to have a preference? No, either way would be okay. Okay, well, I'll um, go and meet with them once I get you all set up. I'll go contact them and I'll, I'll follow up with you about that. But before we, I get you set up, I just need to assess your fistula, if that's okay. That's okay. Okay, so I'm going to get you to hold both your arms out in front of you. Good, and I'm just going to look at the skin. doesn't look any abnormal. There's no irregularities. And the skin is uniform in color. I'm just going to have a listen to your astrologist. You let me know if you feel any pain while I'm listening, okay? Okay. So I can hear your brewing, which is good. Um, I'm just going to feel now if that's okay. Your skin feels the same. I'm just going to feel the thrill. Okay, it looks great. Um, we still have one more thing to do before we get started. I just need to check the cycler settings. All right, so looking at our cycler, we have the RiverMax 400 dialyzer with a 3K, 1.25 calcium dialysate back. Our sodium is set at 140. The temperature is set at 36 degrees. And our heparin is programmed for a 2,500 unit bolus and a rate of 1,000. And we'll turn the heparin off about 60 minutes before your run is finished. Um, and we're going to connect you directly to the fistula. So that's where you're going to get that extra fluid that I told you of priming the line.